Hello my soccer universe! Well, as you know, it is now time for the Serie A jersey review, which also means I can reveal one Serie A jersey that I got from classic football shirts from here, wearing the my first uh, op uh, jersey for the new year, which was the Italy 96 uh, jersey, which yes, was a jersey that I could buy because I made for the first time uh, some money through this channel which is basically how i'm gonna use my earnings from this channel to kind of augment the collection and relieve a little bit the family for that so thank you so much for watching and helping me do this this one still came out of my own pocket here it is a jersey from a team that i of course have it is a jersey from a team that is of course a team very near and dear to my heart but it's honestly a jersey that i have won it then it was not available anymore or i think it was only double xl on the milan store uh yeah it's a milan jersey <laughs> i already spoiled it um it's not your typical milan jersey but it's one that i always thought would be interesting Can you see it's of course the 2021 third jersey with this weird greenish blue color which is so not milan it would actually be a forbidden color at this moment in Serie A because they're getting rid, rid, rid of green. Um, but given that they have this season also kind of a uh, not very nice looking greenish uh, jersey, I thought it would be really nice to have it. And as I said, I really wanted to have it anyway and couldn't really get it. And then I thought, yeah, maybe it's not meant to be. And then it showed up on classic football shirts and with a 20%. I thought this was a good opportunity to get this shirt. I'll show it to you here. As I said, it's not classic. Uh, it is blank on the back, so we don't need to talk uh, much about the back except for the ACM logo. Uh, maybe the most prominent feature is the gradient on the bottom, which I'll show here a little bit close up and let's hang here it is the milan 2021 third jersey uh it is um from the crafted by culture uh range from puma which is why this pattern the houndstooth pattern is basically a reference to the fashion capital that is milan uh they had the other two two jerseys the one uh, the home home jersey had kind of the uh, floor pattern of the Galleria which I think was nice but never really worked well well through and the away jersey the, the white one I always call it um, uh, <laughs> the scarlet jersey because it had kind of from a museum the it, it it never was a great jersey but this one despite it not being a color for Milan that I would associate with I mean in fact if this was an inter jersey it would probably work even better however what I really love is that they still went with the full color crest on here and then they just went for it and just produced something completely different. As I said, green jerseys these days are forbidden in Serie A unless it's a home jersey. I'm not sure if this would actually count for a green jersey, but you know, it may well do. Um, and it was also quite prominent because uh, a rather special goal was scored by Ibra against Udinese, uh, keeping Milan up in the running for the uh, Scudetto, which they ended up not winning, of course. But it was a step to uh, return to the Champions League. And for that, it's a rather special jersey. And actually, if I would get a number on the back for, for this one, it would, have been, it would have to be an Ibrahimovic jersey for sure. But as, as I said, um, while it's not a typical Milan jersey, I actually want to, you know, I want to expand my Milan co 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 collection to also a little bit more of uh, the unusual jer jerseys. And so uh, this def they definitely is one. And, you know, with the Crafted by Culture range, always one that, that I like. I thought this fits very nicely in there. Quite happy to have this jersey, finally. Um, if I would have gotten it uh at the beginning of this season or, or you know big or the, or, the, or the beginning of last year let's put it that way uh or you know when the 21 22 season started when i was hope 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 hoping that this was going to go on sale i actually was thinking about simon kier um but if i think about it a little bit closer i would like to have a simon kier jersey there's no doubt about it but if i think think about it, this jersey for me is all about this ibrahimovic uh bicycle kick which was not the prettiest one to be honest but it was an important goal and you know Ibra 
Ibra brought Milan back, and that's why I think he des uh, he would be, it would deserve to have him on the back there. Again, uh, it also shows a bugbear of mine is we have too many monochromatic crests this uh, time around. And yes, in a way, this is a jersey where a different color and you slap a club, a club crest on there, but it actually works. And I would, uh, because it would be so easy to just make this kind of uh, monochromatic uh, with a white outline and a little bit green in there. I don't think it would work as well. I think we see it with the current third jersey, whereas I think here, it works as a Milan uh, a jersey in full color, and I really would like to see more of that. So yeah, let me know your, your thoughts on this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.